Hello guys, today we're going over this again. Yes, of course, the Xeno fans won't quit. The other ones will keep bringing up Cacomelon every week. Telling you that it is real and there is no, and there is no proof it is not. Well, now we have a new thing. Well, this is mostly about there. So yes, Nintendo selects Metroid Prime, yeah, basically, yeah, Mario Battle Royale, that was like a year ago, Mario 364 PD Poor Project, and yes, Nintendo has some pretty, Nintendo does strike down fan projects, we all know they have been doing that for the longest time, but there have been a lot of projects that have been strike down that haven't got games, like Pokemon, Pokemon Uranium, for example, a fan made Pokemon game, that was released on the PC. And of course there's a lot of Pokemon ROMs that do exist. And yes, copyright is a pretty big issue. And for Nintendo, when people use the copyrights, they're not really, you know, they're, they're more stingy, you know, with the copyrights, you know, than, than other characters. But then we have in here, Nintendo strikes down two Mario RPG music on YouTube. First of all, my RPG is was owned. No, not owned. It's owned by it was a pro, dual project between Square Enix, you know, and Nintendo. So technically, Nintendo still owns the rights to the music, so they can't take it down. And not every single Square Super Mario RPG music and song has been taken down. And specifically two songs like Old School accepts, meaning that he can't be a premium cop because they only come with one song. Again, that's a rule. Hero got four because of a loophole because he decked three four heroes in one SWAT. A fight against the arm bars and below the force bus room. Booms. And the tunnel takes down XP, let's see FC with nobody knows the hell X that is. You know, legacy XP that could be anything. But and of course they're saying, ooh, but all oh, these people are saying Xeno's in the game. Especially, we all know whom. But yeah, Zeno is not in Smash Bros. He is in Smash Bros. as a me costume. When will people realize that? That he's going to be put in as a me costume. And we're like, and, it was, and that's where the day when the Zeno fans get so angry because he's a me costume again. Maybe a deluxe me costume, and for this time, he comes with two songs. Oh, yes. Very much innovation we have here. And yes. There are the big three. Zeno is one of the Forbidden Four, and he's the last one to be added. But really, not many people will outside of this, outside of 4chan, you know, small communities, you know, of Zeno fans, 90s kids. They're the only ones who, you know, you know, who basically, you know, they, they are the only ones who care about Zeno. They're the only ones who request Zeno. I bet, you know, that's why they're, you know, they're making, trying to make Zeno in Smash Bros. Because they probably know it's the last chance Zeno is going to be in Smash Bros. Because once the next Smash Bros. game comes out, there's going to be new characters from new games, you know. And they're going to, Zeno's just good for all popularity and even in Smash Bros. You know, it's just going to be the fact of the facts. You know. And yeah, Zeno will not be in Smash Bros. Cackle Melon is not real. We already know that. Because, no, not Cackle Melon. You know, Cackle Melon is not real. That has been proven fake many, many times. And, you know, they, and the funny thing is that Weakers have been talking about Xeno since Brawl. Okay? Brawl days. Okay? Quote unquote, credible Weakers have been talking about Xeno since Brawl days. Okay? And. If Nintendo was really going to put Xeno in the game, they said they were going to put him in ball, but they cut him through the unknown reasons in Smash 4. It, it was odd, a character that was quote unquote wanted by the director of Smash Bros. was not put in on the base roster. This doesn't make any, it just doesn't make any sense. And I don't think Skull Eagles is going to just go put a character, you give Nintendo the license for a character that literally only 90s kids and you know the Xeno circles on 4chan and Reddit care about. Basically, and yes, the Xeno fanboys are basically as a vocal minority of the fan base. You know, people say, but Xeno's one of the most requested characters. I bet in reality, he's probably down to like 30 to 40. We're going to the rest of the best Mario characters of all time. He is now, he's like only like 42 or something. 
He isn't that popular. He isn't that popular of a character. Not many people would have even played my RBZ. My RBZ wasn't even a best selling. Only so only sold two million copies. Because again, the game was made at a time when RPG games were not that popular. You know, the games that really made RPG games popular was Final Fantasy VII and Pokemon. You know, and of course, rest of the RPGs were made, were made popular by the Elder Scrolls series. But yeah, Xeno will not be in Smash Bros. Keep on dreaming, Fortan. You know. And it may happen one day. Zen that one day you that for they wake up and they all the internet blows up and Zeno is actually in Super Smash Bros. But for the now being, he won't be in Smash Bros. Goodbye.